Hey guys, this is BuilderDude35, and part 4 of Pneumatic Systems is going to be on Pistons. So, for the fourth video in the series, we have Pistons today. And what Pistons are, is they're the end result of the entire Pneumatic System. They are what's actually going to be doing all of the moving in the system. And what happens is the air from the compressor, after you've moved it through your series of tubes and valves, and whatnot is going to reach these pistons and depending on which um, uh, port that the air flows into is going to determine whether or not the piston extends or contracts. It's important to note that this is a linear motion in which it moves in a straight line here. It's not continuous and it has a definite end and a start. And um, uh, what happens here is, uh, see there's two ports, they're both input ports and what happens is if you were to pump air into the bottom here it's going to cause the piston to extend if you pump air into the top it's going to cause the piston to retract and that's as I had mentioned in the previous video in the series that's the whole reasoning behind using two different colored tubes so you can use the black tubes for contracting the piston and the gray tubes for extending the piston and these are going to be controlled by valves as I had explained in the previous video where you're going to have one end of uh, the valve, one of the outputs, plugged into one tube, plugged into one input of the piston, then the other output of the valve is going to be plugged into another tube, into the other input of the piston. Another thing to note is that the larger the piston, the more air it's going to take to fill up, but also the more strength it's going to have. So see, I have two different types of pistons here, two different sizes. There's these smaller pistons, which are much more responsive because they don't take as much air to fill up but they're also not as strong because they don't have as much air pressure behind them and then these larger pistons which are slower moving and they require more air to be filled up however they're stronger because they have more air pushing behind them one final note is that lego has released more uh, pneumatic elements that are different sizes from these these are kind of my older ones and as you see there's just big and small but LEGO also has uh, newer ones in this size that are much longer and the same goes for this. They're, uh, they have a longer stroke so you can get more travel out of them. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week and if you have an idea for a tutorial be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.